hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome <clears throat> to fish academy uh today i'm in uh, ghana and beside me is uh, mr kwame adade mr kwame adade uh the ceo of win mill farm. farm okay um today i have to make it down to your farm after i viewed your video on the uh, woodmeyer's uh, channel uh with the title I left UK to be a fish farmer in Ghana. That's I think correct. that is the title of that uh, video. And in that video, that video have over 225,000 views. Okay. Currently. Okay. And then uh, wow. I think 90 something dislike. Yeah. And about uh, how many like? I think I read that about 6,100 yeah. like. Okay. It means a lot of people like what you are doing here. Uh, you've taken me around your facility the other way. Okay. and the one you started with the one your dad actually started with and then you decided to 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 expand your father's business i believe i believe your father didn't see this Did oh you? no 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 yeah, yeah. It, this actually your dad started this uh yes your dad started this and then you guys have challenges cleaning yes uh, this pond. yeah i was just wondering is it that um uh to discharge this water is it that uh when they do uh, maybe scoop the water or bail the water out or these uh or when you when they open the valve the water goes out completely why was it this difficult okay with the square ponds um yeah. the waste is everywhere yeah. it's all over the floor yeah what we tried to do initially was we tried to sweep the waste okay. uh the outlet towards the outlet towards okay. the outlet there okay we tried to sweep it first didn't really work then we bought a hoover so we yeah. had bought a water hoover yeah that would yeah. suck up the oh. um, the base of the floor. Okay. That kind of worked, but it was quite labor intensive. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, it's quite, we were doing, I think, maybe we had about 1,500, 2,000 catfish here. Okay. And uh, it was generated a lot of waste. Okay. Uh, we didn't, yeah, it was generated a lot of waste. I mean, you, you, you go to some fish farms and you could actually smell the catfish. Yeah. We didn't want that experience here. Okay. You know, so um, the cleaning was, was very essential. We tried about two different types of filters. Uh, yeah. The first filter we tried was just a normal circulation yeah. filter that filtered out some of the dirt. Okay. It works, but there again, it didn't really work with the number of fish we had. Okay. Uh, so I think we tried the drum filter on these ones here. Yeah. Um, it kind of yeah. like worked, but it was still quite intensive yeah. trying to get the dirt to okay. that corner okay. was, was, was a challenge. Problem, yeah. um, we tried. So yeah, we just gave up on the um, on the square yeah, points. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, okay, I, I think um, it, uh, whether being it a square or a round pond, yeah. I think the problem was uh, slope. The slope. They didn't yes. get the slope to yeah. the discharge. Yes. So once, if I wish the person that constructed this pond actually yeah. slope it towards the discharge point, it wouldn't have had that problem. It wouldn't I think have been. That, yeah, 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 I think that is the problem. Yeah. But uh, the way it is right now, if yeah. you should uh, maybe do some renovation work and then they slope it towards the discharge i tell you you won't have that problem yes yeah yes yeah. yes so i because I, I watched it and i i was wondering is it that uh because i saw it was somewhere in a hilly part but i think i can see the valve the valve should be somewhere there yes somewhere there yeah yeah so yeah, i think that that was the issue yeah because some of the pond that we built yeah they are square pond but yeah. we don't have problem discharging you you yeah. slope the <laughs> slope it down towards slope. the discharge yeah that, that is it yeah yeah so, similar similar issue with these two as well uh discharge and okay. the um slight i think there's a uh, well it's not enough i think there's a probably discharge hole yeah. somewhere around here yeah, yeah. uh again uh, uh, I think uh, again we, we were trying to cut down on the um, on the labor okay um, we arrived at the round design um, yeah. and um, this has a I think a one in eight drop so every um, yeah one in eight drop um, so every eight foot there would be a one foot drop okay um, we probably could have done more of a drop on this okay so every eight foot, uh, sorry, every four foot, we do a, probably about a, a, a foot or two foot drop. So it's it's oh. like a cone. Okay. Um, again, similar sort of thing. It works. Circulation of water around yeah. brought the waste to the middle. Okay. And, and um, suck it up. Yeah, and suck, and suck 
and uh, it's then sucked out, okay. which works. I mean, it does work. All right. It does work, no problem. All right. Are you having challenges? Um, when I say challenges, getting water, because I, I'm aware that some area in Ghana, you can't get water on the ground, maybe through borehole. How do you get your water here? Okay, we have two boreholes and three wells. Okay. Um, water's probably never been our problem. Uh, we run solar here. Okay. Probably got about 20k, uh, 20 kilowatts worth of power, wow. uh, worth of panels, solar panels. Okay. Uh, again, we're quite automated here. Um, water pumps up automatically into um, uh, two, three, four, ten thousand litre tanks up there and runs down via. Um, okay. Uh, runs down to these tanks here and so that was all eventually automated. Okay. Um, what we found initially was spending a lot of time pumping water, discharging water. Yeah. It was quite intense, we never got anything else done. Okay. So once we started the automation, uh, it got, you know, one person could run the whole farm, mm -hmm. um, which was ideal for me. Okay. You know, um, what we found as well, this is quite unforgiving. If someone left a pump on yeah. overnight and you got up in the morning, you know, half your water would be drained out. Okay. So we had to put, you know, um, stop checks, you know, all sorts of stuff uh, okay. to stop that from happening. All right. Which eventually we managed to resolve. Oh, yes, yeah, okay. so this is where okay. we are. Yeah, so you do a uh, catfish here? Yes. Cat because I can see some catfish inside. Yes, we tend, um, we, we used to do uh, tilapia. Yeah. Uh, now we've got a, a dam around the other side. So what we're doing is just, we're just catching the, um, the fish in the dam. Okay. And now starting to populate here. Okay. So, uh, yes, so that's the general idea. So bring the fish from the dam, bring them in here and finish and fatten them up and then start resetting again. Okay. So process again is quite slow. Gone is generally quite slow you never seem to get what you want to yeah. do done within the time frames yeah. but um we're working towards that now all right yeah we're now working towards that all right i think we can see other round thing yes let's go back now so okay i think here is a tilapia yeah, here's tilapia and we, we keep a few tilapia here, you know, so we're not having stagnant water sitting around. Okay. Uh, but the main farm is now on the other side of the, um, the road. Okay. Yeah, so a few tilapia, a few, a few catfish here, but nothing really we're um, expanding okay. at the moment. Okay. Okay, so tilapia, catfish, and I think the other two are probably empty. Okay. Yeah. I think I saw one dog out pond. I think still here, this premises or? Yes, we have, um, we have a couple of ponds down the bottom there. Again, we don't really tend to use them. Um, we have a dam on the other side. When you say other side? Oh, there's another farm on the other side of the road. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can show you that one. Um, okay. That's one we tend to use more now. So this is kind of like, is this redundant? We might say that this is probably redundant now we're finding the, the cages on the dam is probably working a lot better okay yeah all right sure. yeah quite i'm aware that you formerly based in the uk yeah you understand and then you relocated down to to ghana yeah all right and then your name sir maybe i, I may not be able to pronounce it well so can you just oh. pronounce your name so that we get it okay kwame adadi or david adadi all right so uh nice uh, meeting you Sure. As I said, I'm Kufre Ibanga Francis, uh, okay. CEO of First Fish Academy, though my farm is not as big as yours yet, okay. but we are hoping on expanding too, just as you have plans to expand. Sure. And then, um, so formerly you worked as uh, in the banking sector, as an IT personnel, yeah. and coming into your facility here, in fact, I've seen everything is automated from the gate, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from, from the gate, immediately I stepped down from Uber, you know, the gate just opened. <laughs> and I step in. So you've done much. In fact, it's part of the reason I came here, especially when it talks about uh, feeding, automated feeding. You don't need to go to the pond to feed your fish. When it's time, the, the feed just uh, 
<laughs> feeds automatically. <laughs> feed to the fish automatically. Yeah. So it's a it's a good technology when it comes to fish farming. Yeah. And they're based in the UK. Yeah. And then the weather in the UK and everything, everybody always wished to go to UK. Yeah. You understand? Most of the Africans, when you ask them where you want to be, say uh, whether they are uh, US or UK. US or UK. And then yeah. you opportune from the information I got from the video, mm. you were born and brought up in UK. Yeah. Understand? And then having worked in UK, understand, you decided to, I mean, what actually made you to think fish farming? And thinking of fish farming, you then give it a thought, make doing it here in Ghana. Well, what was the decision? Uh, a lot of things really. Uh, Dad initially started out, uh, we was coming anyway. Yeah. Just got tired of the, um, the IT sector. So right. IT, banking, um, contracting. Um, we was working, I was working for years, just wasn't really getting anywhere. All right. You know, uh, decided to make a change, try something totally different, and um, it was okay. Um, um, it was okay. You know, we found that we were. Um, uh, it's it's a different sort of challenge. Yeah. Yeah, it's a different sort of challenge. Okay, so you decided to consider Ghana as where you, a place where you want to do your. Is it because you are from Ghana? Or you didn't consider any other part in Africa? <laughs> I'm from Ghana, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, so yeah. Um, the main purpose, okay, was it to create jobs? Because most of the things you do here is automated. Ah, uh, yes. Which means yeah. <laughs> the machine have taken most of the jobs that some of the people were supposed to do. So, which means part of the things you were like uh, is not to create jobs for the Ghanaians. Or what do you have to say as regards that? Um, <laughs> You know, you want to create jobs, but you want reliability. You want to yeah. know the fish are being fed three times, four times, five times a day. Okay. Um, so it's automation, reliability. But then, you know, we still got four guys at work here and, and yeah. they do other stuff. Right. So rather than just feeding fish, yeah. you know, we've now moved on to other stuff. They want to do, um, they want to, um, I don't know, drive excavators. Um, there's other stuff that they can do. Okay. Not just the mundane stuff. This is very mundane. Feed the fish is, okay. is reasonably mundane. All right. Yeah. Um, actually, uh, you know, uh, when it comes to uh, automated feeding and all that, I'm talking about fish. As personally, I believe that machine can do everything for fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then if you want to really achieve much success when it comes to fish farming, then you need to give your fish time. Yeah. Understand? So, um, I mean, okay. I mean, one issue you have obviously yeah. with the yeah. automatic fish feeding is yeah. if there's a problem, yeah. you don't know there's a problem because they're still being fed automatically. Yeah. Um, however, we've been doing this for a while now. We we kind of like know when there's going to be a problem. Okay. You know, what you will find is that the fish, uh, the fish in this environment here, yeah, might might give you problems. Yeah. Whereas the uh, fish in a natural environment yeah. in the dam won't won't give you problems. They'll always be hungry. Okay. You know these fish could potentially stop eating for whatever reason, water yeah. quality, and um, so hence the reason why yeah. we're now going down the dam yeah. route. Yeah, yeah. so, um, which means yeah. feeding your fish automatically yeah. has an, a disadvantage. That's a disadvantage, Because yeah. um, fish is not all the time they eat, just like what I've been saying. I don't know if you've been following me on my channel. Uh, <laughs> I've watched a couple fish of academy. videos. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Most of the times, fish don't eat. No. You understand especially when the water is too cold yeah catfish yeah they just relax yeah. they don't eat yeah. so and at that point the machine will know yeah. that the fish don't need food uh, you understand? No, that's right yes. <laughs> they will know that that fish don't eat don't, don't need food yeah. and then the machine just disperses the food into the water and yeah. then the, the feed pollutes the water oh that's correct yeah, yeah so i think that's one of the disadvantage with the machine the only advantage with the machine will be yeah on time feeding yeah. Yeah. of fish yeah. yeah, but uh, I think it has some disadvantage. So, yeah. planning to expand, I think you really need to, you need human uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, to, to would, do most of the job. I would say to that more yeah. tech. Yeah. I mean, we have, we have cameras in each of these ponds. Okay. So, from my bed, I can check All if right. they're eating or not. Okay. I can turn them on and off from my mobile phone. I can okay. turn the other side on off, okay. on and off from my mobile phone. Okay. So we still have some. Okay. Control. Okay. 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 That that's good. Good question. Yeah. That that's good. That's yeah. good that you have camera in each of the pond. Yeah. That's that's something quite interesting. And then um, uh, that's something quite interesting. Sure. All right. 
Okay, I've, we've talked about the challenges anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think uh, I don't even I, I don't like writing things. If I write, <laughs> if I, once I write things on the paper, yeah. I, I don't I, don't, uh, yes. I, I yeah, miss yeah. up. I know I yeah, miss yeah. up things. I don't like writing things. I've seen the farm. I'm going to ask you a question based on what I've seen. Let it not okay. let me not ask based on what, <laughs> what I have here on paper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. because um, this how many thousand capacity? Because you know the way Udumaya said it that you're one of the biggest uh, fish farmer. Do you accept that? Do you think that you are one of the big, uh, that you are the biggest fish farmer? No, no, no. Uh, in Ghana, I'm probably one of the automated guys. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably right. one of the automated guys. Um, yeah. But there's guys who are um, a few fish farmers who are a lot, yeah, yeah. a lot bigger than me. Yeah, yeah or definitely yeah. a lot bigger than me. Yeah. yeah. If earlier you talked about challenges feeding the fish. Yeah. Okay. Have you now uh, like consider producing your food, the feed for the fish yourself? Because that is one of the key things. You yeah. know, feeding itself takes seventy percent of the two cost of production yes. so what are you doing in that regard okay yes um, a few months ago we uh, purchased a, a, a fish feeding pelleting machine okay so we're now going through the process of 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 using it learning how to use it fish feeds and st okay. you know so we're trying to i mean although we we'll probably still use uh, some of the commercial fish feeds okay we will still try and supplement it with the fish with the feed that we produce okay the machine is it here or you've not uh... oh it's here it's okay. on the other side okay the other, i think we'll, still, we'll have to get there, so we'll to get there. <laughs> yeah 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 so because this one thing i used to advise fish farmers yeah if you really want to make profit yeah. when it comes to fish farming yeah you need to at least yeah. supplement the feeding. I mean, from the one you get from the market, you have to produce yeah. to feed your fish. Yeah. If not, you won't make much profit. Uh, yes. Yeah, you won't yes. make much profit. Yes. So over there, that's what most farmers in Nigeria are doing now. Yeah. Vividly, every, every fish farmer wants to produce their feed yeah. now. Yeah. Because when you produce your feed, you produce a richer feed yeah. for your fish than what is coming from the market because the market the producers in the, uh, the companies they are trying to produce to f to serve a lot of people yeah but when you produce you know yeah. that you are producing it just for your fish so yeah. you make it richer yeah you know yeah. you know what's in it yeah you know when you're buying your own commercial fish feed you don't know what's in it 40% uh, yeah. protein 20% yeah what does it mean to you <laughs> when you buy the ingredients yourself and you yeah. produce yourself then yeah. you know exactly what's in it yeah sure yeah. I think the original mistake was not producing our own fish meal Okay. That was the um, main, main, main problem. We should have started looking at producing fish meal years ago when we started. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So. Um, but we've learned. Uh, we are now trying to take things up to another level. All right. So I'll show you the other side as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm happy. I should come and see you then for some <laughs> advice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Okay. Na na nice. So happy to be here. Yeah. And then uh, I think we are going to change uh, the face of catfish farming in Ghana. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Good, good, yeah. good.